Hello everyone, welcome you all to this channel, my research support. So friends, today in this video, we will be discussing about an excellent AI tool, which is manuscript.ai. So friends, if you are writing research paper, review paper or even a book, then presentation of data is really very important. If you are putting the data in text form, then definitely it will affect the readability and even engagement of your document with the audience. So to increase the possibility of your documents like research paper or review paper getting accepted in different journals, yes, it is really very important to present the data in most appropriate, in most attractive graphs. So the tool that we'll be discussing today is really an excellent tool that gives you an idea about how to generate graphs from your text and even that tool is capable to generate different attractive graphs but along with this this ai tool has different features like summarizer rewriter ai text generator etc so within single interface you'll be getting almost everything embedded so without any further ado let's start so this is the main home page of this manuscript.ai where you'll be getting multiple options like ai book writer ai novel editor AI essay writer, AI for research paper. So everything you will get within the single interface. So first you have to log in with your login ID and password. If you have not created any account, then you can click on sign up. You can just put your basic details and you will be able to create an account. So right now I have already created an account. So I'll log in with my email ID and password. So this is my email ID and this is password. So I have to click on login. So after login, you will be able to see this page. So these are the documents I'm already working on. On the left side, you will be getting some options. So the interface is really very simple. So you can click on this AI templates. So under this AI templates, you can get access to different features like paragraph writer, content improver, summary generator, rewrite, expand content, etc. So you can obviously practice so that you will get familiar with all these features. So let me just show you for demonstration purpose. If I need to rewrite something, then I need to click on rewrite. So here, this tool has access to different AI models, advanced AI models, you'll be able to see this. So right now I'll be choosing this GPT-4 O-mini. Then you may select this type, whether you need to add more intensity, right, more descriptive, in more descriptive manner. Okay, for example, I'll be selecting this. And then I have a word file, for example, if you have a research paper, so you can copy this content here in this space and then you have to simply click on generate content. So on the right hand side it is showing paraphrased content however it is showing that token limit you have used. See whenever you will perform any action if you are rewriting something if you are using this summarizing your document then every time one token will be utilized. So when you will be subscribed to the premium versions then definitely you will get number of tokens that you have to utilize so we'll be discussing this part at the end of this video so in this way you can practice all these features and then you may decide whether you have to move ahead with the specific feature or whether it is useful in your research or not so similar to these features you will get like book templates blog templates marketing templates professional templates playground templates etc so it depends in which field you're working and accordingly this may be of your interest so obviously these are the basic but very important features that you will be getting under the single interface of this manuscript.ai. So now let us discuss about how to create attractive graphs from the text. So now you can click on create new book. So that does not mean it is only a book. So it is a kind of document that you can add. So you have to put a title. For example, I'll be editing this research paper one. And one more thing to prepare this AI tool to write your research paper, obviously you have to describe about what exactly you want to write or you want to edit okay you can if you want to write your entire research paper you can click on this option so right now i have my rough draft so i want to edit that document so i'll be clicking on want to edit okay and for example if you're working on any research paper you can just copy paste your abstract for example if i have this document so i have taken this document only for demonstration purpose so this is not a research paper so i'll be copying this text into this interface and then you have to click on create document so your document is now created you'll be able to see this recent documents research paper so obviously you have pasted that abstract or a piece of text at the time of creating this research paper but obviously that would not be shown here that is only for the reference purpose of this manuscript.ai so now you can click on import your document from your PC 
you may create outline of research paper book or you may start with a prompt if you want to generate entire sections of your any research document so i'll be importing my document from my pc so i'll be selecting this file so you'll be able to see this so this is the document that i want to work on so now you can apply almost all the features that we have discussed in the previous part of this video for that you have to just highlight this text so that you can have access to this prompt box so through ai commands you may rephrase this text here itself even you can summarize it you can create opposing arguments so you have to click on ai commands for example if i have written this piece of text in my own words but i need to expand this text in that case you may click on this expand content so that this manuscript ai will be expanding the text whatever you have written so this would be the text which is generated by this manuscript dot ai in addition to the text that you have written so you can go through this generated text and then if you think that yes this is the best suited text then you can click on insert below otherwise you may have this option to regenerate it or you may reject that so right now if i think that this is the best choice then i'll just click on this insert below so that you'll be able to see this text is inserted so in this way you may practice all the other features now for a while let me delete this text now one more important feature that i would like to discuss you have to select the text and you may click on cite text then first you have to search about that topic for example i need citations about magnesium alloy then you will be getting number of citations so if you think that this is the proper citation for this piece of text then you can click on add citation so that the citation would be added so you can also edit that citation now let me discuss about the most important part for example if i have presented this information in the form of text but yes i need to present that in form of any graph chart or illustration then i'll be having this option means generate graph so you have to click on you have to first select that text and you have to just click on generate graph so you can see this this graph is generated so you can just right click and you can just click on save image as and you'll be able to save the image in png form or jpg form text i may use this graph now let us discuss about the second example so this is the information that i have and i need to convert that information in attractive graph so obviously i have to click on this option generate graph so this is again the most important point so sometimes you may be getting this type of when you will generate any graph then you will be getting some information on x axis y axis okay but in that case you have to delete this graph and you have to try once again means this is not like in single try you will get the most attractive graph so you have to try maybe second time third time till you will be getting the graph that exactly you want you have to again select this text and you have to click on generate graph so you can see that this manuscript.ai has created one graph so if you still think that this is not a best graph as far as your data is concerned then obviously you can delete this graph and again you can reselect this text and you can replot the graph but believe me as everything is ai generated you may have to try several times to get most attractive graph or chart that would fulfill your requirements so it depends on multiple parameters like the potential of this text to generate any graph or schematic also matters a lot but yes keep trying and definitely you will get most attractive and excellent graph now the last thing is you can see here it is grammar and style so i can make it off so there won't be any highlighting of words so you can click on that and you'll be able to check and correct your grammatical errors also like you can see here the spelling is wrong so it is concentration in that way you can also use this grammar and style but obviously this is not very advanced as far as this grammatical error correction is concerned but still you have the option within this interface now let me discuss about the last part which is pricing so here you will be able to see different subscription plans so you'll be able to see different plans 
okay so this is the plans for general authors however if you are a student then you will get this subscription at discounted cost so first i'll recommend to you to use this free account okay and if you find that this is really a worth subscribing this tool then only you can move ahead and you can start with this plan and in addition to this you can get extra discount by using this discount coupon okay for that you have to first click on the link that i have provided in this video description and then only you have to apply the discount coupon to get this discount so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you if you have any queries do not forget to write us through comments we'll definitely try to answer all these queries so i'll see in my next video bye bye